what is up everybody welcome back and today we're doing some sky haven there's been some crazy updates i have been wanting to cover this game for a long time in terms of going back but um the last time i tried to record it i would finish the night and it would crash and there was nothing i do could do so i was like okay we'll wait off we'll come back we'll kind of let some more updates happen and i just played around with it for about an hour yesterday and i just loved it so without further ado let's go ahead and hop into a new game from 1916 so perfect we're gonna go ahead we're pause now some things that uh change first off we have an entrance road here which is cool uh they had some buildings nice little tiny town there um and they also expand the area that is a huge area to give you an idea let's uh grass runway so what i'm trying to figure out how i want to do this i could do it at an angle here and there um well we might build like this. Yeah, I guess we'll build over there. Um, we'll get grass strips here. Or uh, exits right there. And let's get some of these. So I'd like to do four. And uh, quick little tip, you hold down shift, you can uh, continue building. There we go. Now, I think it's going to come in from up north, which means we need to have this connected over there. Next thing we need to do is get our road over here. And let's get a... Uh, put that right there. Crap. There we go. And then we'll just bring the grass road down here. And straight up and over. Not the prettiest, but it works. And what we want to do is let's get... Uh, go ahead and get three vehicles. Perfect. And fuel will get two. And that doesn't leave us with a lot of money, which is fine. But what I'd like is let's get an office, and that way, once we get some more money, we can uh, get some research going. So we're going to go ahead and auto-connect those, and we're pretty much good to go. Pray I set this up right. Um, we have our first aircraft, so bring it in. Now, one thing <laughs> that is, uh, I don't know how new it is, but you have to manage uh, your fuel stock, which is kind of cool. Okay, so we did it backwards. No biggie. We can fix that. Um, it's not actually that big of a deal. It really isn't. Um, later on, it might be kind of a bigger deal, but right now, it's, it's nothing bad. It's nothing we need to be concerned about. So we got two big boys, so I'd like to get these tiny planes uh, serviced and out of here. Because these guys are going to give us some fat money. We're going to go ahead and uh, cancel those. Because I want to just put priority on these huge aircraft in terms of just the amount of money we can bring in. Um, so I need to pause and let's go to research lab and let's get um, one researcher. And I would like to get, let's see, um, reinforced loading docks. Good thing off the bat. And we're going to actually need to do another thing too. Now this is going to put us in debt but nothing bad. Um, we need to order some oil and we're gonna order 3,000 for 1,200 900 in debt not a big deal because we have aircraft on the ground that are gonna already put us positive again And we could honestly go for a loan, but I don't want to go for a loan early when we don't have a lot of um, Assets it would just be pure liquidity, which means uh, pure money As opposed to being able to buy some new buildings, which isn't a big deal um, We really do need to get another vehicle. That is what we're waiting on right now it one second sorry my cat was at my door meowing doesn't bother me until i need to record okay we have fuel uh definitely need to imbue, uh, imbue, invest in a second um let me go ahead and just cancel that and i i guess probably a third how many do we have we're gonna need yeah we'll pretty much need four of those 
but we're making good money for the first day and that's the important thing is you you really don't make a lot of money on your first day at least in my experience um just because there's so many um you, you don't have the economies of scale you know you're we're only getting four planes um tonight we would might get another one but i think we might try and get a fifth uh a stand up tonight Okay. Um, that's the only reason I'm kind of speeding through this. I'm actually going to speed up some more. Oh, no. Slow down. We need to get a... Uh, we're going to pause. And we need to get another contract going. Because you burn through that fuel. Um, like we are staying positive, which is what's great. Um, tonight, I also need to... Hey, that we build everything over here and have that over there. And we might just have to live with it being like that. Um, which is the worst thing in the world. We'll just probably have to live with it like that. Um, we have that that one. I'm going to cancel this 95. We might bring in these 106s. Because they'll be cheap, fast turnarounds. So we're not really utilizing our um, money or uh, cargo. Crap, I should have gone with this 204 one. Please, don't, it's going to expire before I can get it in. Dang it. Um, cancel that, cancel that. I know you're probably like, why don't you just wait? Because I want to get them in. Uh, it declutters everything. And I would like to avoid getting fuel. Uh, only fuel jobs. Did not mean to cancel that. Oh, well. So we'll get these. These are light fuel ones, which isn't a big deal. This is what's just drying us up. These 696 fuel flights. Um, still paying for themselves. And we will take them over these 95 ones uh we need to do this so i need to pause and let's get us some more uh i guess what's this mail or cargo cargo i don't think we have anything we have one instant but that's a lot of money we can get 50 for 200 or 10 for 140 and what we might have to do is we might have to sign that 10 and then we're going to set up some with the royal mail let's see Deliver at. We'll do a noon delivery for 50. Because that'll keep us pretty well topped up. And it's only 1300, which means we still have plenty of time. Uh, one thing I would like to do is buy two more of those, and that way we can start upgrading stuff faster. Because the key is at nighttime, you can get a lot of uh, research done, and that's when I really like to do it. Of course, I do it through the day, but through the night, you can get some of those cheap, uh, fast ones done like that. Uh, 17 mail should get us through the rest of today. Uh, we're going to lose this 89. I'll go ahead and take it off. And I guess uh, we'll go with this mail just because uh, we can. Let's see. Barrel stock is what I need to do. There we go. That's going to help out a lot. Now we have four uh, refueling uh, trucks. Ooh, 500 mail. And then another five mail for 200. Not bad. Making good money. I definitely think we will uh, add at least one, if maybe, maybe two more stands. Just because we're able to manage four pretty well. And the uh, boost in uh, aircraft could really help us. Um, and I feel like we could probably, if we had to add in a large barrel stock, um, financially it wouldn't be that bad. We could pay for it without burdening us. The other thing we need to consider is a second runway. Uh, the runway is a huge limitation. I wouldn't be opposed to trying a runway... We'll wait and see. I'd like to get a second runway up sooner than later. We'll cancel this 100 because see, yeah, we have these two aircraft and that is just slowing things down. Oh, perfect. We can go on with our next upgrade. Yes, two unit barrel stock station. That is what we need. We'll get this uh, 500 in. 
Yeah, because look at this. That's. I mean, I was two grand in just job signa that we're probably not going to be able to take all of. We'll drop these. Uh, these two. I want to prioritize these high price jobs. Yeah, we're definitely going to. Let's do this. And then we're going to select that for departure. And it should, even though we switched it to the rival, since these are queued on that, it should still get them out. Okay. What are we waiting on? Oh, crap. I See, that's what happens. You can easily run through that stuff. Um, and we're going to need to... We're going to have to spend some money. Let's set up a new... Uh, I want to do this. I can't set up one for that. So I was hoping to do uh, maybe like 20 in the morning, but oh well. Oh yeah, that's see that's hurting us. But time to buy all that fuel. But oh well, we will cancel that. We might barely be able to get both of these. Okay, fuel is probably what's holding us up. Now we, uh, that. Okay. Okay, we're, we're good. We'll be able to probably remake all the money we've lost. Uh, just not, uh, we're gonna need more. That crap. Nope. Let's do this. Let's get in that guy, that guy. Uh, at least we'll be able to do things faster now in terms of our aircraft uh, landing and arriving. That'll save us a little bit of time. The fact they have to backtrack there sucks, but not the end of the world. We'll lift that because uh, the only efficient way to do it would be to switch that to up there, and that's just not worth it. We have to order more fuel soon. Part of it's also we just. 5,000 is not a lot of fuel, and once we get this second barrel stock up, it will help us a lot, because uh, we're just not, we have to order in quantities of 5,000, and that is just, you can go through it like that. And it's daytime, or nighttime, sorry. So we're going to go on speed four. Let that get done, and once all these aircraft are out of here we're not going to do any building tonight uh which kind of sucks but that's simply because we don't have money i could take a loan out and i'm kind of almost tempted to but the infrastructure is just not there we have this one fuel station that's maxed out and then this one cargo that's maxed out so um we're just gonna wait and once that aircraft gets out in a second we can just quickly fast forward and we're going to get some of this important stuff done. Let's see. We do need air traffic control. That is important. So right now, I think we're limited to 20 or 10. And so we're very limited by the amount we can uh, of aircraft we can bring in. A construction. So if we take away construction, that leaves us with about 15,000. So yeah, we're still about... Well, if we kept up with this, we'd be about break even which isn't terrible but break even is not gonna make us money uh we okay let's do this what are the other options flight scheduling kind of and it's eh. we'll get driver's training then we'll get we'll focus on flight scheduling next we'll actually probably get it for it's yeah we'll get it done barely here we go. Daily report. Nope. I want research lab and office work. Office works. And we'll just 
just speed up. Now we have aircraft coming in. And we'll probably be able to do some quick, quick turnarounds today. Uh, we do need to focus on once we get positive, I'm going to have to invest in a new fuel station. Oh, we are busy this morning. And this is why I really wanted to get a, another stand. And I might add in a stand during the day, but dear Lord. Okay, we're not going to take you. We're not going to take you. Not gonna take you. Not gonna take you. We'll take that person next. Because we have a delivery coming for 50 at noon. So if we can get, let's see, we'll get this guy next. Try and get some of these male ones done to lower our mail down to pretty much where it's bottomed out. And then so we get the full benefit of all 50 mail that we've ordered. Beautiful. Of course, we're going to spend some money now because we got to order more fuel. But it is almost time for our uh, fuel, or uh, our, whatchamacallit, um, mail delivery. We'll grab you and we'll take this one. I want to avoid those two because I don't have a lot of mail. Uh, that's fine. You know, if we have to have some aircraft sit around, not a big deal. Okay, before we order that, I'm going to do something that's going to put us in a little debt. We're going to do this. Go link. And. We're going to wait. And. We're going to now order fuel. Because now we can hold 13,000, which is a lot. Ten thousand for forty six hundred, not terrible. I know, I know about the uh, cargo. Right now, we're just waiting on everything. I could. No, the other thing is, it takes about three hours from the time you order to the time it arrives. So that's why I was kind of hesitant on. I could do an instant order, but it's not going to be quick. So are you all? Waiting on cargo. They are. That sucks. But it'll be here any second. Let's just get rid of these. I know. I know. So we definitely. Let's just do this. Let's get this set up. Well, that way we'll be set up uh, for next or our next day um seven minutes i'll be here thank the lord finally start getting some of these aircraft turned we'll do these uh fuel ones first oh you can't have both okay no biggie uh, that's the other reason. Okay, that's good to know. So I thought you could actually have both these set up, uh, connected to the stands, which you can't. Which I guess makes sense. Um, okay, so that was partially my fault. But what I'd like to do is, let's see. Because we can fill up two here. I'd like to ultimately dump that. and Actually, we might keep that just because it comes in handy to have a second one once we get some more stands. Now we could relocate them to only fuel. So we have flights that don't need both cargo and fuel. Um, that's what we might do. Lots of flights. You get these big high rollers in. We have three, but it almost seems like three is not enough. We really do need four, I guess. It's kind of a hit or miss. It just really depends if we're getting aircraft that need fuel, cargo, or both. And when we get the ones that need both, it kind of screws us in terms of uh, efficiency. But we've started to close the gap on how, many, uh, how much money we are uh, down. Of course, now I have to spend more. Let's see. An instant transport of 30 for... 400, not terrible. We can make that with one aircraft. 
what sucks is it's it's very hard to keep track because yeah i make 551 from this but it's not like i really know i i don't know how much is actual uh how much profit i make because yes i'm making 551 but i also have to spend money on the gas that is uh being pumped in so it's probably closer to like maybe 200 in profit maybe not even that yeah look at all these this is why i'd love to uh have at least one more i think we can probably get one if not two more uh gates in because we're getting those quick turnarounds but they're not quick enough because this is fifteen hundred dollars of uh revenue we're missing hello ah oh, dang it no i don't want you hold out to the last second i think it is 1900 is when the uh, cutoff is so i'd like to wait until we get at least one nice uh or two nice jobs and get them in 2800 is going to give us enough room to where we can make some improvements which is great we're going to go ahead and take this one yes perfect exactly what i needed uh one thing is we're getting another uh cargo truck because we need it oh wow 1900 isn't the cutoff that's nice okay so 4,000 oh I didn't select a new research um, see pump fueling no Ramp service, we could do. Ooh. And then we'll do that. Okay, so now we have all the, the uh, aircraft out here. Let's work on some stuff, so. We'll just connect it right there. Not gonna be the prettiest, but uh, this is probably gonna be more of a temporary setup. Taxiway. So they'll go, they'll go this way, which means if we put that, it should be pretty simple. So I want this connected to oh, crap and we'll connect this one to right there so I need to quickly buy I didn't mean to do that dang it then we would like to get Okay, that gives us that. We need to manually link all those up and we'll get two of those. So we have two dedicated ones that are going to be only, um, only fuel. Because we have a lot that are only fuel as opposed to fuel and cargo. Well, this is a good sound point. So thank you everybody for some by for today's video. Until next time, y'all have a good one and goodbye.